Hello everybody! Today's video is my two month postpartum video for you guys. If you hear Lindy, she's over here, she's kicking on the couch with me, so that's what the little cooing and cawing is. <laughs> Alright, let's get right into it. So, I am two month postpartum. It was the wrong number. All right, so I'm two months postpartum. I can't believe it, it's been two months. Sometimes it feels like it is just yesterday I had her and sometimes I feel like Lindy has been here forever. Um, it is crazy. I'm doing pretty good. Um, let's talk emotionally, I am doing good. I'm not great by all means. I have a lot on my plate right now um, with work, with kids, with family life, um, with the idea of hopefully trying to move in the next year or less, hopefully. I have a lot going on in my mind and it's been difficult to put them in perspective sometimes. I can get really emotional and really upset really fast. Things have just felt big to me. Um, I really feel like right now I'm really stretched thin with my work, Will's work, the kids, YouTube, everything. It's just, it's a lot right now. You know, adding our sixth child doesn't feel like any more work than having five, but I definitely, I think I'm feeling it physically. I just don't feel 100%. And what that means is like, I kind of feel a little bit dizzy sometimes. I feel like I'm in a tunnel. Like right now, um, I just kind of feel like I'm in a fog. My eyesight has been kind of bugging me, so I'm gonna make an appointment and get my eyes checked again and see if maybe my prescription needs to be changed or if I need to start wearing my glasses more often. I'm gonna start doing that. Um, because I just, I'm gonna see if it helps. I've upped my iron, I have upped eating fruits and vegetables, I have trying to get more vitamin C in me. Um, I have cut out gluten, which I don't know if that has anything to do with it, um, but I'm so, but I have been trying to have a little bit of gluten every day to see if this fixes my fog. Or I really just could be overworked and underpaid. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I just don't, um, I just don't feel 100%. So, but in, um, I did stop nursing. I stopped nursing around six weeks. I have not got my period yet. This could be my hormones kind of coming back into like normal. I have been getting hot flashes too. So um, until my period comes, I'm not gonna really worry about it. Um, but I just know that I just don't feel great. But um, I'm just really tired. It just, that's really the main gist of it. My body, I think is just, you know, this last pregnancy was really hard on me. So I wonder if it's just all of that and just my life being crazy. <laughs> so I know we talked about last time the pain I was, oh, oh, <laughs> she did a little cough and a little, hmm. Um, I know I talked about last time the pain I was in, my pelvic bone pain, it is almost gone guys. So I'm relieved, my doctor was right about giving it more time. Just I have it slightly um, on my pelvic bone every now and then, especially at night when I'm laying down, I'll be like, it hurts. I think when I lay in a weird position. So I am dealing with that, but it's not horrible. I'm, I think it'll be gone within the next month. So that is a relief. I'm very thrilled. My weight, I have only lost about two pounds, um, give or take on a good day. So I'm not, I have not lost a lot of weight this month, which I don't know. Disappointed is the wrong word. I was hoping for more, but it's just not there yet. I missed going and play by ear. I'm not really worried about it yet. Um, I have cut out gluten, but that's mainly because I have psoriasis or eczema or whatever. Uh, long story short, I was tested once for eggs for whatever this was. I was told it was eczema, and then another dermatologist told me it was psoriasis. So I don't know what I have, but. I know that eating a cleaner diet helps my skin. That's why, I mean, one of the reasons why I don't dig dairy, it's one of the reasons why I um, have no gluten in my diet, because it helps my skin. So I have been trying to move more this month. Um, not exercising by all means, but like maybe I'll go on the trampoline with the kids, or maybe I, um, I'll run around more with them or throw them around like rag dolls. Physically, that's been kind of hard on my body. I've been sore, I've been achy. I really, really, really am out of shape. Um, I'm trying to stretch a little bit. Again, this is not on a routine. This is not on anything. This is just if I feel like it, I'll do it. Um, I can't even imagine when I'll be able to get into an exercise routine. I'm guessing four or five months, I'll probably start thinking about it. But right now, I'm just, I physically, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of going with the flow, trying to recover. I definitely feel like I need to recover from this pregnancy. It was brutal. Um, I, I really thought, I didn't really know until after she was here, like how much like pain I was in, um, which I said before, it's just, I was in a lot of pain at the end of L Lindy's pregnancy. And uh, yeah, so, but I'm not in any pain right now. I'm just kind of sore, it's really stiff, but I'm, I'm dealing with it. Um, 
my belly still looks like a hot mess my stretch marks my belly button doesn't even look like a belly button and i have decided with my stomach um i usually don't show you guys that um that's really personal to me because it's really a hot mess and it's not that i don't i don't want you guys to see it the main reason why when i was pregnant i didn't want to show my belly is that i heard there's a lot of not nice people that were looking at pregnancy bellies and doing not nice things and i just didn't want to be a part of that that's one of the 90 like it was the only reason why I didn't show my stomach, my, my, my rare belly um, in like pregnancy updates was for that reason. Um, so yeah, this time it's just, it's just, it's, it's very unattractive and I know y'all don't care and I know it's, it's, it's what it is. So my thought was when I lost all the weight, I will show you my, what my, my belly looks like. Um, so you all know what, you know, it's, I'm not perfect under this this skin and I might I might look thin and I might look like I have it all but my my, my belly is, is a hot disaster and I have eczema on it too so it really it, it's it's a disaster and I hope one day when we can afford it and when all of our bills are paid off I can get a tummy tuck maybe in, my, in, in a dream of mine if I don't oh well but um just because there's a lot of extra skin it's a lot it's like a hangover part like it's just like i don't think it'll ever go back flat again i think i'll always have like a lip some like you know jiggle going on um <laughs> but yeah i don't want anyone to think that i'm just living this like i'm just great i've got it made like no but i think you all know that you know that i'm just we're here fighting through this life <laughs> yeah so that is pretty much it for my update not a ton is going on um i'll probably do one more update my three month and then i'll do a six month update um yeah we are definitely preventing babies um will is getting a vasectomy next month which stay tuned for that footage <laughs> it's gonna be crazy <laughs> we're not gonna film it but we're gonna film the what the recovery and aftermath and everything um so that'll be interesting because it'll be over the whole baby thing will be over which i know i'm gonna cry like a little girl uh because this has been my life for the past six years is having children and it's a new chapter and it'll be weird when it's over i know it's already over but it's going to be really solidified when he gets that done and i will be relieved and heartbroken in the same at the same time because it's i love my children but i'll be relieved that i can't get pregnant again because my body's like heck no <laughs> yeah well that is it for my postpartum update thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe Thumb the video for us, we'd super appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you'd like, and we will see you next time. Oh, I'll do the belly shot right now. All right, so here's a belly shot at two months postpartum. I have a corset on. Um, it's one of those those ones you get ads for. I can't remember the name. I'll link it down below. Belly fit, be belly fit, belly fine. I can't remember the name. I'm gonna have the tag. Um, it's just a corset. I, I don't wear this all the time. I only wear it when I go out because it's not 100% comfortable. <laughs> uh, the boning kind of kind of digs in a little bit. Um, it's just, it's not something I would wear all the time just because it's not that comfortable. But it does, feeling does the job to get it in so I can put a pair of shorts on and it not be like lumpy and like skin folding over. I have a lot of extra skin up here. Like you can see it, like it's just a lot of skin right here. And that kind of goes all the way down. So it's just, just, just skin, 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 skin. Yeah, so that is the belly shot. So that is it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thumb the video for us. We'd super appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you'd like. And we will see you next time. Don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. Bye. Bye.